Good morning, folks. We've got news from Earth out into deep space, including Hawaii, the Centauri system again, major hail, and more. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star were mostly quiet, dark coronal hole visible on the south, no sunspots on the disk, and the only active motion noticed was near the northern polar crown where one of the filaments twisted and collapsed back down through the corona. As we come next to 304 angstroms, we find fewer filaments around the limb. That plus no sunspots means all is calm, as indeed the solar wind speed took another cut to its intensity too. Geomagnetism is low and we could have cosmic ray alerts this weekend before the arrival of the coronal hole stream. That is expected Monday and should finally get us some geomagnetic activity. Until then, it also surges our earthquake watch factors, so eyes open. Up next, we're looking at the USGS flight over the Hawaiian lava flow, nearly a mile wide as it hits the sea. The expected eruption yesterday registered lower this time, 5.2 making for a peak back on the 5th unless we do get a bigger one. This morning, the smaller quakes are indicating we should get at least one more eruption today. Let's take a quick peek at the orbits of the Parker Probe and Solar Orbiter, set to launch this year and in 2020. They'll get closer to the sun than any two craft we've ever launched. Hopefully they can deliver some detail on the IMF activity so close in, and relate it to why the solar wind speeds up heading out of the corona. Up next, we're coming back to Chandra's X-ray view of the Alpha Centauri binary stars. You'll recall that their third partner, Proxima, is the closest star to Earth, and from here, Alpha just looks like one star. But what is now becoming clear is that the X-ray signatures are lower than expected. Remember, they've got habitable worlds there, and the only concern was too much stellar radiation, which, it turns out, isn't so bad after all. Quick moment of beauty as Hubble displays IC 4870. The blue material in the center comes from a cosmic jet of an active galactic nucleus that outshines the entire galaxy in electromagnetic radiation. Folks, this shot comes from the Weather Channel. Hail damage to an airplane that flew right into the storm coming from El Paso into southern New Mexico and right into this. Interestingly, they say lots of passengers got sick and it wasn't the pressure changes, it was anomalous. Any guesses? Folks, if you didn't catch last night's upload, it is a showstopper. Finally, an actual mechanism tying solar storms to psychological effects and it's beyond hypothesis and temporal statistics. Website members. Your 51st Deeper Look episode is my scientific case for the existence of human aura, posted yesterday. And today is Saturday, so our podcast is coming in just a few hours. Chat session starts at 9.30 Eastern. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.40 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.